Okay, so in this video we're going to look at using CSV files in Python. And to start off with, CSV stands for comma separated values. So really, it's not v uh, that too complicated. And I'm going to use this little example I've got here. So I've just got a notepad open. Let me give you a second. There we go. So I've got a notepad here with some uh, data in it. And you can see here we've got the first name, a surname, and then three numbers. And we're just going to treat these three numbers as a score, so like out of 10. And we, what we can see between each of these pieces of information is a comma. So that's obviously where we get the name CSV file from, comma separated values, because all these values are separated by a comma. And this just makes it a lot more easier to work with in a language such as Python, where we can skip through uh, rows so each line is a row and then each comma so you can imagine it is a sort of Excel spreadsheet each of these information bits of information before each comma is a field um, and respectively uh, all of these are a column so this will be the surname column so I've got this little scores.txt file with just three people in with three scores and we're going to use it as the example in this video so I'm just going to put it off screen for now. Uh, you can download it. There's a download link in the description or just copy and paste the text from the description. Uh, but really you just need a file with a couple of rows and a couple of pieces of information separated, separated by a comma. So first thing we need to do inside of our Python uh, file. So I've got one here just called csv-score.py. First thing we need to do is import the CSV module. Obviously this allows us to access uh, functions and features that would not be there if we didn't import it in. So it allows us to handle our, our CSV file. So after that, we're going to type with open. Now, if I open a curly bracket, uh, just a curved bracket here, round bracket, whatever you want to call them, it gives me a prompt of things we can uh, input into the arguments for this function. So the first thing it's asking for is the file. Now really we only need to pay attention to the first and the second bit of uh, information required um, at this function. So file and mode. The rest of them we can ignore for now and they obviously are when uh, the CSV files get a bit more complicated uh, and have more functions or we have more desires to use them in greater uh, depth. So like I said we're going to focus on the first two, they're the only really important ones we're going to look at. So as I said, the first thing it's asking for here is the file. Now I know the file is called scores, so I'm just going to put my quotes so it turns green. And then I know the file extension is a .txt, so I'm just going to type .txt, very, very simple. Now the reason why I've typed the name of the file um, just as it is like that is because I have my Python file so you can see here my csv-score file, that's this one we're working on, and the scores.txt file in the same folder. So when they're in the same folder, we don't need to tell it explicitly where the file is. Obviously, if the file was located in a different folder or it was just the next folder deep in the uh, hierarchy, we'd obviously type in, um, just going to come up with an example here. So that would be, that'd be an example. So I've got a folder called scores inside of this folder called Python. I've got a folder called scores. And what it's going to do is it'll go into that folder and it'll look in there for that text file. Okay, so you must use the backslashes, forward slashes, I uh, don't think work. Because if we type a backslash here, it gives you, eventually gives you a prompt as to a list of files, uh, folders you can um, navigate through from the root. So going to leave it as that comma next it asks for the mode and really there's only two modes you should ever really sort of uh, worry about there is a third I will explain but the first two main modes are writing and reading so when we tell it what when we tell it what kind of mode we want we put it between two quotes so just like that and all we have to do is type W if we want the mode to be right, or we type R if we only want the mode to be read. There is a third one called append, and that's just A. Difference being it doesn't overwrite the file 
with any new piece of data it adds it to the end so you kind of uh, having a bit of security in there to prevent any information being deleted so in this example I'm just going to open up our text file and I'm our CSV file sorry and I'm going to read the content into the program I don't want to edit it so I don't want to write to the file so I'm just going to choose mode R and when I close the brackets don't need that underscore uh, what we're going to say is as and it's going to ask for a name here because we're, we're opening this file as a copy and we're going to assign that to a variable and very simple all, all we have to type in is just score or we could call it score file anything like that um, and then we're going to type a, sem a colon at the end so after we type that and we hit enter we should as we remember from our loop um, video anytime we type a colon and hit enter it goes on to the next line and indents itself so all this code is obviously only going to execute when this line executes so if the score dot text file executes the rest of it won't so now what we want to do is we want to open this file we've just imported and we called it score file we want to open it up and we want to take the content out of it and put it in to a uh, variable so to do so we need to call upon a function inside the CSV package called csv.reader so just before I do that I'm going to make a another variable and I like to call it what my previous um, variables called for storing the file I want to I like to call it the same name and add reader to the end so I'm going to say score file reader equals csv dot reader and then as we open the brackets it's going to ask us well, what's the file you want me to read well the file we wanted to read is this one here score file so go ahead and type that score file and close the brackets next I'm going to create a list that well an empty list that's going to store each of the rows in our CSV file so I'm just going to type um, I was going to type pupil list, but I think I'll type uh, score list just to keep it simple and we kind of know what's going on with this code. We know it's checking the scores. So score list equals open close square brackets, simple enough. So we've got an empty list. The reason why we're using a list is because we can then access the individual values of that list. So if I imported a list of 10 people and I wanted uh, the eighth person, I could go into the list and I could call up the eighth value in that list. So it's really, really handy and really important that we don't store this as a just a string variable. So now, now we've got our our empty list that we're going to um, copy the information into. We've got our reader function reading the contents of our file and storing it into a uh, variable so what we're going to say is for each row I want you to add it to the pupil list so very simple we're just going to have a for loop and we're going to say for row in and we want to say score file reader because that's where the contents of state is saved so for row in score file reader again because we've got a for uh, loop we need a colon hit enter we should be tabbed along two now and what I'm going to say here is a bit of a check to make sure that there is a row present so if the length so len should turn purple if the length of row does not equal so for does not equal we type exclamation mark equals if it does not equal zero therefore continue with this uh, coding that we're going to type here and all we're going to say is if there is a line exam if there is a row present we're going to say the pupil the score list my bad the score list is equal to itself so score list plus and we're going to open square brackets here we're going to plus the row so as we're looping through each row if it's present we're going to add it to the uh, score list so that is our code done for opening a CSV file, saving it as a variable, 
opening that variable and taking all the content and applying it into a list which is a lot more manageable and then from here we can close the file because it's always important that once when we whenever we open a file we close it so I'm just going to say score file dot close open close brackets and the file we have opened should be should close so it can't be edited or um, have any changes made to it so just to test that this works what I'm going to ask it to do now is print score list okay so control s give that a save f5 so as you can see we don't get any prompts to do anything it just does it all for us there's no there's no waiting for the user input here but if we notice we can see we've got each row has been printed um, we have these brackets and quotes and the commas um, even though we don't have the brackets and the quotes in the text file now, I wouldn't worry too much about this we can uh, we'll, we'll, I'll cover that at a later point but for now I just want to make sure you all understand kind of how this has worked so at the moment I've just printed it as a list I can if I wanted to uh, enumerate through the um, list object and print each value um, in each position one by one so we wouldn't get this uh, text wrap effect we would get it line after line but for now this will do so we can see we've imported the text file we've said that we're only going to read it so we can't make any changes to the uh, to the file and the contents inside the the original file we are using a reader function to read the contents and store it into a variable and then we're taking that variable and storing uh, each of the lines as a list and as I said before a list is just a lot more manageable a lot more um, efficient to use then we close the file and then just for this example we've printed it out so in the next part I'm gonna teach you guys how to write to a CSV file